Uganda. For English, press 1. Please note, to use this service, your personal mobile phone number must be registered with NSSF and your telecom provider. Terms and conditions apply. Your phone number is not registered with NSSF. Please wait as we connect you to a customer service representative for assistance. Dear customer, please have your NSSF number and national ID number ready as we connect you to a customer service representative. All our customer service representatives are currently busy. Please wait and we shall attend to you shortly. Thank you for calling NSSF Customer Service. My name is Adira. Good morning. Good morning, Adira. Yes, please. Many the person I'm talking to. You are talking to Omar Kakande. Ms. Kakande, how do you want us to help you? First of all, I want to inquire from you. Yes, please. Uh, this system of uh, collecting money mm. from Bankuba Cheyo. Mm. I have my sisters, I have my friends have been they have been calling me worried mm, okay. that NSSF is going to collect money from them to be keeping their money. What, how how is it going to work? They are abroad, eh? Yeah, of course in Kuba they are abroad. But you will. I can understand. They can um normally we have a voluntary contribution of where you can they can send their money on um on uh, on uh, on the bank account, and uh, we get the money. Then after when they qualify for their benefits, they will get it. But there is a law mm. that people have put that will be collecting their money. That is, they, it be it's going to be forcefully. Is it true? Yeah, it's not okay. It's not. It's, it's going to be amended. Like they will have to be contributing their ben- saving their benefits, but they get it after some time. When they when they when they're sick, they get it. When they're fifty years and they're out of unemployment, they get their benefits. When they're fifty years and they want to retire, they get their benefits. And normally, we put interest. Like every financial year, we put interest. Meaning, given their money, we keep accumulating. The money keeps, you know, growing. So you want to act like a bank. For them, it's like a bank because we keep uh, we keep their money and we put the interest. And at a certain point, maybe when a member is sick and maybe suffering from HIV positive, cancer, hepatitis B, mm. and you know they're not working, so they come and get their benefits. When even they come in Uganda, they come back in Uganda and get a job in a government institution, they get their benefits. When they're 45 years and above and they've contributed for 10 years and above, they can get 20% of their contribution. You get it? Okay. Now, mm. you people, you want to get their money so that you can keep for them. But unfortunately, yes, you, you, have, you have never bothered to help them in the situations they're passing through, the problems they're suffering in, everything that is affecting them. You have never bothered to help them. But you are so concerned about keeping their money. Why so? 
Yes. I'm getting, I understand what you're talking about. Yes, because you are so concerned about the money. But you have, has NSSF ever contributed on these people's yes. lives? People, this guy, yes. yes. You see, mm. for us, we just follow the law and we just follow what the law says. You get it? So, which law because is this? Normally, now, which law, law is this? The law is normally implemented by the, mean, by the in the parliament. Uh -huh. by parliament so, so, is when this law now passed? Is this, still, is this still a bill or is now a law? It's going to be implemented. Is it still a bill or it's a law? It is still a bill, but they are going to implement it. So why, how can you talk about the bill that hasn't been passed, that is going to be implemented? How do you know that it's going to be, implement, it's going to be passed? Hmm? It's like you're talking about something that Chigenda Kolewa before it is not the Chigenda Kolewa. How do you know that it's Chigenda Kolewa? Because it's, it's not yet a law, it's just a bill. How do you know that it's going to be passed? Kwanji, madam? Yes, it's mean. Hmm? Okay, well, let's just, hello. Because even members from abroad, they have been serving. It has been happening. You get it. Members have been serving, and at the time of getting their benefits, they have been getting their benefits. Which has been it's optional? <laughs> Which has been optional? It wasn't a law, it was optional. Not so? But you see, it's not us who implemented the law, it mm. is the government. So you better tell the member of parliament who do implement the law mm. to, you know, you get it. First, we just do what they have already implemented. You get it? I know, madam. But mm. where my worry is, do you know where my worry is? Yes, please. That you people, you have failed to satisfy even the people who are not who are not abroad, who are, not, who are in Uganda here. Many people are still crying for their money, their and what is that? My father, my father cried for his man until he died. But still now you have brought in this for Nkubache again for our sisters and brothers who are abroad. How are we sure Mbomugenda Bayamba when people who are in Uganda here you have failed to help them on their money? No people get their benefits. I assure you, people get their benefits. Even within two weeks, one week, they get their benefits. As long as you qualify, you get your benefits. Okay, now, these people who die from abroad, how are they, how are they going to be getting their benefits? Assuming Nkubache yeah. dies from abroad after saving his or her money. How is that you person know, going to be getting that, his or her money? You know, when you're listening with NSSF, there's where you put your next of kin. Maybe your parents, if you're not married. If you're married, you have a husband, maybe a wife and children. So in case you die, your family comes and get that money. They claim and get it. Okay. Yes, please. Okay, thank you. So is NSSF a government organization? Yes, please. Thank you. So what has the government organization called the NSSF, how has it helped the Nkuba Cheos? Because As before you look for money from someone, you must have an you have you must have helped that person through something. What, yes, how has uh, NSSF have, have helped the Nkuba Cheos? For us, you see, it is, it is not our money. The money we have, it is for the people who save. But so you people you have ever seen money. a lot. I have ever seen many times in Amugamba you have built for people houses, you have done this for the community, you have done this for the community. I have ever seen as an as, 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 as a government organization. No, we just build, we put the building, the construction, but for people to, to, to rent so that we can, you see, I told you that at the end of the day, if you keep your benefits here, we have to put interest. And where do we get the interest? When we've constructed those buildings or construction, we get the rent, that rent comes, and this is the interest we give to people. Like this is the money we keep, it's not our money. And as I told you, we follow the law. So we, are not, we don't just use someone's money, you get what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. If you've kept your benefits here, you expect to get um, interest at the end of the day. So we don't just okay. uh, use the money. So, mm. It's like the government, 
I'm now talking to you as a government because you are a, you are, now, you are a government organization a, a government organization so it's like you are telling me that a, the government is responsible for the Nkuba Cheyos who are abroad no so Not no, what I'm saying, I'm not saying that. Me, I'm saying, mm. well, let's just follow what the, what, you know, as when I keep my benefits with the NSSF, at the end of the day, I expect to get some interest. Okay. okay. So, is this law going, is this going to be optional? That when I don't want, I don't bank. When I want, I bank. Let's first wait. Let's first wait. As I told, it has not yet been implemented. Let's but first at least you have started it. advertising it. You have started talking about it. You have you NSSF. Why did you come out to start talking about something that hasn't been passed? That is where my problem also lies. Kind, I'm going to request you to stay on the line for one minute. I get back to you, okay? I don't stay on the line. I want to answer. Why should I stay on the line? Why do you talk about something that hasn't been passed? When the, the parliament hasn't passed it. Hello? Yes? Yes, it's not the first time that this, these are people staying up, but they have been serving. It's not the very first time. They have been serving and they have been getting their benefits. At the end of the day, it benefits them. You understand? Which As I optional? You, I understand, but which has been optional? As you can tell me, people have been banking and others hasn't, haven't been banking. Which has been optional? People have been doing it willingly. But here comes one day, one time, very early in the morning, and you people, you wake up and you start saying that these people should start as it is, it, it is now comparisary. It is now comparisary. Which is, as I told you, as yeah. I told you, it's not us to make the law. For us to just implement what they have already decided, what the law says. So it is a members of parliament. So you better ask the members of parliament. Madam, I agree out. with you. I agree with you. Where my problem comes in, and to you people, you have, st you have started talking about it before it becomes a law. So it's like when I save right now, when I panic and I start saving right now, thinking it is a law, yet it's not yet a law. You will be making, make, you will be forcing me to the mistake. I'm you, going to send a request you to be on the line for one minute. Let me get back to you. Just one minute. I'm on the line. Okay, one minute. I'm here. Okay, thank you. <laughs> for being online mm. well, as I told you um, we haven't had the official communication that you guys if it's a must you're supposed to pay like now I don't have you know the basis to talk about it but so you have been talking about pay. it no let's just first wait for them if it is implemented you will get to know but now it's not yet like we haven't got official communication but do you know that some people have been some people some officials from uh, NSSF have been online teaching these Sinkuba Cheyos how they are going to be saving their money? No, just as I told you, we don't have official communication, but in case it is you know, implemented and all that, you will get to know. As just I said, do you know that they have been there teaching some people how to save their money? So they have been doing it illegally. But tell them to withdraw the statement, tell them to do don't to withdraw the statements and they wait the official communication from the parliament whether the law is passed or not. Because people are now in panic. You go on social media, the whole the whole social media is people are on panic. Not so, madam? I think that would be better. It has been noted, please. Yes, thank you.
Thank you for calling Genesis Tefusha. Good day. A good day to you too. Okay.